should be easy. What's your fucking problem? Just leave, man. We don't want any trouble. You wanna see what I can do? Guys, maybe we should just leave. Hyenas, much like their animal counterpart, revel in the anarchy of Washington DC caused by the green poison. During their peak, using mysteriously obtained equipment, the hyenas were at war with the JTF in the White House, settlements in northern DC, as well as the True Sons. There's more to their story than what appears on the surface. In this intel brief, I'll be answering the following questions. How did the hyenas rise to power? What is the substance they use? And who even are the hyenas? Federation of assholes. Thank you, Mr. Schaefer. But this is an intel brief, and I'd like to go more in depth than that. Hyenas are generally opportunistic raiders and scavengers who prey on the weak, but can also stand their ground against more powerful foes. Their ranks mostly consist of late teens and young adults who are either criminals, were affiliated with gangs before the outbreak, or simply revel in the anarchy of the green poison. I gotta get back to work. Thanks for the movie, Manny. Anytime, Neil. You coming over for dinner? Not tonight. I gotta meet with some National Guard buddies. If they're worried they'll get caught to help with the quarantine in New York. Okay. <laughs> this is serious. It's the flu. You remember swine flu? Everyone freaked out for nothing. You'll see. In a couple of months, no one will even remember what the dollar flu was, like Y2K. Y2K? You really know how to make a guy feel old. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. But I don't know. You know this doesn't feel like it's just gonna blow over. People are scared. And you know what happens when people get scared? Nah, you worry too much, mijo. Give me your wallet. Yeah. Don't make us hurt you. Well, hell no. You should have just given it up, old man. Help! Someone help us! Call 911! We need help! Please, stay with me, Theo. Their territory is marked with green paint and fumes, as well as bodies of the JTF civilians, hyenas, and any others that dare stand against them. Mostly in the northern part of DC, they have been giving people a lot of trouble attacking small communities like the Rooftop Gardens and MLK Library in Downtown East, or kidnapping civilians like Vikram Malik from Odea Tech. Now? Hold up, they're still too spread out. This is gonna be good. Not if they notice us first. Keep your goddamn head down. <laughs> Look at those idiots, they have no idea what's coming. That's the fucking idea, get your fucking head down. What are we waiting for? They're not even armed. This is gonna be a fucking pinata party. If you're expecting candy, you're in for some disappointment. The candy isn't the fun part. The fun part is seeing it fly everywhere when you whack the shit out of the pinata. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be too disappointed. They're running. Not fast enough. I don't know. They're hauling ass. Ah, uh, no way they can outrun Sherry. She's a fucking puma. Uh, that's one. Tired-looking puma. She's usually faster. Oh, I can't watch this anymore. They're liable to get away. Hand me my rifle. Shoot the dude. The girl will try to help him, and you'll be able to back her too. <laughs> oh, what a bitch! She just left him there. Yeah. I feel a little bad for this guy. First he gets shot, and then he gets fucking backstabbed. Besides their aggressive and violent nature, they are unbelievably ruthless too. Where's the prisoners? I got tired of them moaning. So you let them go? No, I didn't let them go. Motherfucker, we were gonna trade them! Oh well. That's what you're gonna tell Diesel when he asks why you killed them? I didn't kill them. The dogs did. What dogs? I don't know, some dogs. I didn't ask their fucking names. Oh, but they must have been fucking hungry, cause damn, once they sniffed blood, it was chow time. You stupid son of a bitch! Well, whatever. He's only gonna do shit except huff and puff a little. I don't think we can carry anymore. Not even these meds? 
box don't weigh much. The weight isn't the issue, it's just too much stuff. Are you sure about leaving this shit? I don't want to, but it's just asthma medication. I doubt there's a lot of asthmatics around anymore. Wait, I got an idea. Call Jay over here. What for? I'm betting he can rig this box so he'll blow the fuck out of anyone who tries to pick it up. Oh, that's cold. Hey, Jay! Come over here a minute! Hyenas manage to do all of this because they are equipped with riot gear like gas masks and bulletproof vests, military grade weapons and gadgets. For long it remained a mystery how the hyenas acquired these military grade weapons and equipment, but it appeared it got delivered by their secret admirers. We get paid our fellas delivery from our secret admirers. It's about time. I need an upgrade. So why do you think they're giving us all this shit? Because they know we the baddest motherfuckers in DC. Hand me that nine. Hey, 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 look, look, look. This one's got buttons and shit. That's one BFG. Those true sons ain't gonna know what hit them. We going postal on those jackass. Hell yeah. The hyenas weren't smart enough to ask questions. Who were these secret admirers? Maybe we can destabilize the situation a bit? Hyenas are probably the best bet. Feed them some material support, they'll be a thorn in everybody's side, and they aren't organized enough to present a serious problem in the long term. Good recommendation, Eli. I'll talk to the boss. It appeared the Black Tusk were manipulating the situation in DC for a long time, without us even knowing it. But their threat is one we have already discussed. Besides their supplied military grade equipment, hyenas can be recognized by their green paint and smoke. The smoke, the fumes you often see, often found in areas they set up camp or coming from pouches on their belts, is evaporated spice. Spice created in the drug labs of the District Union Arena is a hallucinogenic that enhances human abilities. It allows the hyenas to deny pain, in return increasing their health. Zodiac, one of the council members we will talk about in a minute, had a serious chemical dependency and couldn't function efficiently without it. He is believed to oversee the hyena spice manufacturing. Gather around you bags of shit, it's time to hit the books. Okay, to make spice all you need to do is spray the plants, get them all nice and moist, then spread them out on a table to dry. Quiet down! Fuck this up and the boss will have your nuts in a meat grinder! When they feel firm to the touch, take them over to packaging to get blinked up. Easy peasy. What did I tell you? This ain't high school. Misbehave in my classroom and you don't get detention, you get ballistic therapy. In numbers, the hyenas are the largest faction and although still unorganized, they are a threat to the safety of the people of Washington DC. Every so often, the hyenas would take care of their own. What the fuck? Let me go, Frey! What is this? What are you doing? Fucking stab him already! Uh, uh, kill him! Kill him! Uh, Die! Uh, fuck. Get his stuff. Fuck. Fuck. Hey, focus! Get his stuff. What? His backpack! The whole stash is in there! Grab it and let's go! We can say he tried to fuck us over and we have to jump him. Their leadership and government structure is a combination of a federation and an autocracy. Originally, the hyenas were an autocracy, each clan being led by a single leader who has absolute authority over his or her own clan. However, as the True Sons increased in power and expanded their territory, Coyote called a meeting in an attempt to unite the hyenas as one, turning the faction into a federation of assholes. Exactly, a federation of assholes. I've called this meeting because we all have a common enemy. The True Sons are gaining a foothold in this city, and the more we fight amongst ourselves, the worse it's gonna get. I ain't afraid of those bitches, and I don't need some punk-ass motherfucker telling me what my crew can and can't do. I'm not trying to lay down the law, but if we don't find common ground, we will get wiped off the map. Then what do you suggest? We form a council. You have a problem? You leave your piece at the door, and we deal with it together, as an organization. What is this shit? It's called politics. So you mean like a treaty? Like a treaty? How you run your crew is your business. I'm game. Fuck it, I'm down. And? Fine. It's settled then. 
The council consisted of nine members. Books, Coyote, Diesel, Dime, Mayhem, Rebound, Roach, Saint and Zodiac. Each one responsible for their own crew formed a pillar from which the council was supported. Still, getting everybody on the same page was the need. If we want to survive, all this infighting needs to stop. <laughs> sure, that's totally achievable. Yeah, it better fucking be, because we can't be true sons in a straight up fight. We don't have the training or the discipline, so we have to be smarter than them. And fucking each other over at every opportunity isn't smart. Depends whether you end up giving or receiving. That's like arguing who gets the penthouse when the whole building's about to burn down. Motherfucker, look around. Everything is burning down. All of it. If there's a chance you can get yourself a view from the top, why wouldn't you try? Because there's an option not to die in a fucking fire. If we stop acting like it's too late to do anything, we could actually accomplish something. To eliminate the threat that was the hyenas, the entire council had to be taken out. Although sometimes they would do the work for us. Skinny John, the murderer of Ortega's uncle Mateo, had a spot on the council. But his behavior was jeopardizing the hyenas. So, Mayhem and Diesel gave him a choice. Take a step back. You fucking crazy? I'll fall. That's kind of the point. What the fuck, man? Why are you doing this? You know why. You burned too many bridges. There's no room for shitheads like you on the council. Yeah, yeah, come on, let, let's talk this over. We can work something out. Take a step back, fucker. Please don't do this. Step the fuck back. Or get shot. This is the bright side. Let you walk away if you can walk away. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ah! Ah! I don't think he's walking away. We've tolerated you cockroaches for long enough. We've offered you friendship. And you, you spat in our fucking faces! We've been patient. Lenient, even. Killing me won't change anything. They'll just elect a new leader. Please! We aren't gonna kill you. No. We're gonna give you a fair chance. Two spins. One for each time you refused us. If you live, we'll let you go. I'll make it up to you, I swear. Just let me go! Two spins! Or a slow death. You choose. That's all we get. I think it was only gonna blow one round. Oh, shit, I got blood on me. Odessa Sawyer, the leader of the theater settlement, in particular has had trouble with these scavengers. Her daughter, Eleanor, appeared to hang out with one of the younger hyena members. Saint, trying to make his presence known to earn a place on the council, has psychotic tendencies and almost always uses violence to deal with his problems. He's wanted for kidnapping and holding civilians against their will, which is what happened to Eleanor. She was held at the Grand Washington Hotel in downtown East, which led to the first encounter between the Division and Hyenas. You're right next to the Grand Washington Hotel. Okay, here we go. That should get their attention. Head to the service entrance on the east side of the building. Hostile radio intercepted. We're under attack. It might be a diversion, so be ready. Kelso, a fellow agent, set off charges to distract the hyenas as she and the agent infiltrated the building. After blowing up their ammo stash and clearing the building, Saint was guarding the hostage on the roof. Kelso and the agent managed to eliminate him, taking away the first pillar of the council and extract Eleanor back to her mother at the theater settlement. However, the hyenas were set up in more than one location. Agent Espinosa infiltrated the Jefferson Trade Center in the Federal Triangle to activate the Shade Node, a server room that provides the raw processing power and information that Isaac uses. However, he went MIA. Last radio contact with Espinosa came from a parking garage close to the Shade Node. Isaac has the location. Upon arrival, it appeared Coyote, one of the council members and her crew, had occupied the center and kidnapped Espinosa. Hello? Is this the division? Looking for someone? Who is this? How are you on this channel? Friend of yours gave me a real nice wristwatch. He's right here. Wanna talk to him? <laughs> if you want him back, we can make a deal. 
You back off, we'll deliver him unharmed. Mostly. Hostile radio intercepted. Hey guys, I'm still willing to deal, but you better decide fast. I don't know how much more this dude can take. Coyote is cunning, manipulative and never backs down from a confrontation. She allegedly was the mastermind behind a number of hyena-led attacks throughout DC. This and her short fuse help her consolidate power and become a feared yet respected member of the council. After threatening to kill Espinosa and the agent not giving up, Coyote pushed Espinosa over the edge of a balcony, killing him in the process. Agent Vital Signs, zero. Coyote stood her ground but eventually was taken out by the agent, eliminating another pillar of the council. After the crash of Air Force One, the hyenas, being the first on site, managed to extract and capture an item that was found in the plane, back to their bank headquarters. I say we tie this motherfucker to a noose. Let's show the world what happens when they fuck with hyenas. Good job, fellas. So, it's true. When I was told they recovered the President of the United States, I almost didn't believe it. Needed to see it for myself. You seem awfully calm, considering your predicament. I'm in politics. I've been around enough liars and crooks to know when to be scared. Careful, Mr. President. In here, you've got no power. You're nothing but currency. What are you going to do with me? Nothing. For now. But you should make yourself comfortable. It was the president. Isaac managed to locate President Andrew Ellis to the World Bank Group building in downtown West. Ellis, being the number one priority to the division at that time, led to the agent infiltrating the bank to hunt him down. Rebound was in charge of the crew located in the bank. He had severe anger problems, but due to his effective skills in combat, he was elected to be on the council. However, after the division eliminated Rebound and managed to rescue Alice, Roach was called in by Mayhem to kill the agents. Roach, believing he is untouchable, relies mostly on his entourage to fight his battles. Being well connected among DC's criminal underworld, he used to host late night pirate radio broadcasts, for which he ended up in jail. Although he managed to put up heavy resistance, he got taken out too. At this point, the hyenas were running scared and fell back to their stronghold in the District Union Arena in Judiciary Square. Three of the remaining council members were present, Books, Diesel and Dime. Books, the first of the council to put up a fight, is the assembly supervisor and overall leader of the council. He managed to claim the position because he knows how to manipulate people. His in-depth knowledge of electronics, intelligence and ruthlessness makes him extremely valued by the council. The agent taking him out was already a huge victory. Diesel was called in by the others once the division hit the arena. He set up a fortified turret on the back of an APC in the garage of the building. Diesel has a domineering personality and uses intimidation tactics to subdue his enemies. Despite this, he's a coward at heart and will get others to fight the battles when he feels legitimately threatened. Yet, he stood his ground and lost. In the stadium, the hyenas under the leadership of Dime made their final stand. Dime considered himself a boss of bosses, the toughest within the hyenas. He was highly ambitious and is believed to have an academic background, which shows in comparison to some of the other council members. I ain't got no time for all this politics bullshit. If I wanted that kind of life, I would have gone to college. Something funny? You? College? Doesn't quite add up. Fuck you! We got a lot of dead wood on this council. What are you saying? I'm saying that they won't go down easy. I got no problems pulling the trigger. And that's exactly why college doesn't suit you. You're too emotional. Sometimes you gotta exercise restraint, assess the situation. If we do this, there will be repercussions and we need to prepare for which way shit's gonna fall out. Books managed to get onto the council by taking advantage of other people's misfortunes and will do everything in his power to solidify his position of authority. He will never admit defeat, which ultimately became his undoing. The agent cleared the stadium and with that the last stronghold the hyenas could have been hiding. Yet, the fate of Mayhem is unknown as is the Zodiacs. Mayhem has a poor sense of danger awareness, struggles to comprehend potential hazards and has a love for explosives. 
one hell of a package. She often makes poor decisions as she becomes extremely violent when feeling unsettled. Until further instruction, Mayhem and Zodiac, including the crews, are still considered to be a threat. Although scattered across the city and even less organized than before, the Hyenas are waging war against the other factions of the city, including the Division, JTF and Settlements. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the intel brief, I would like to ask you to like or dislike depending on what you thought, share the video with your friends, subscribe and click the notification bell to become part of the Masterminds HD community and notification squad. On top of that, you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram for daily updates and behind the scenes posts. Join my Discord if you're looking for an engaged community that revolves around Tom Clancy's Division 1 and 2. Both links are in the description. Visit my Patreon page through the link in the description if you're interested in the intro briefs on the factions, characters and events with summarized information on these videos. Currently I don't have a lot of time so I'm mostly focus on videos, but in the future they will come. To end the video I have a question for you. Do you think the hyenas will return? And if so, do you think Mayhem or Zodiac will be involved? Leave your answer in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. I'll talk to you in the next video on Discord, Instagram, Twitter or on YouTube. Peace out.